So I'm at Incline View with Sherman, and I am taking him for a walk. And one of the most important things to keep in mind when you are walking a dog who is anxious is to let him lead. So I'm really just letting him decide where he wants to go. I might subtly prompt him by walking this way. Okay, so he's walking with me without any hesitation, so we'll keep walking, which is great. If I were to see any hesitation on his part, I would honor that and stop. So let's say, yeah, so if he stops on his own, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna allow him time to check out whatever it is he needs to check out. Good. If he looks at me, I would, yes, and give him a treat for that, very nice. But I'm gonna let him decide. Do you wanna go this way? Should we go? All right, let's walk. Good boy. So I'm gonna let him lead, but always watching. If he pauses, I will pause with him. So there is a person coming up, so I wanna see if he notices him. So just kind of walking up that way. But, as I said, I am letting Norman lead. Okay, person's walking up to his house now. Just letting him lead and check everything out as he needs to. No pressure. Hi, buddy. Hello, good boy. Yes, you want to focus on me? You can get a treat for that. We can't go that way. <laughs> within limits, of course. I let him lead within limits. Good, check out all the things. And if he were to start barking, I would honor that and prompt him to kind of walk the other way. Because he really is just barking because he wants more distance from whatever it is that is scaring him. Oh boy. Oh, you're excited to walk this way, so I will let you go. And he paused, so I paused with him. Good. I'm going to see if he wants to turn around. Good. So I just backed up a little bit, and he decided to come with me. So that tells me he'd kind of rather go in the other direction, so facing back up the street. Good boy. Yes. 